Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here this morning to put on my standard makeup that I've been wearing lately. And actually I am living in a house that we're remodeling. And so I have this little travel bag where I put my makeup before we moved from the other house, which was about five or six weeks ago. And now I actually put my makeup on in my basement exercise room because it's much better lighting than the little tiny bathroom we have going down here. Every bathroom in this house is brown and the light is gold and it is not good to put makeup on. So I just kind of carry this around with me. Okay, now am I high enough for you? Yeah, I, I guess I am. No, let me try. Sometimes I sit on a book. Let me sit on a book and see if that makes me a little higher. Okay, yeah, that looks a little better. Okay, now I'm just going to open this up and this is my travel bag full of makeup. And I always start with my Tarte Clay Play 2 makeup here. This is eye makeup. But before that, I actually add a little CoverGirl, CoverGirl eyeshadow primer. And I really love this stuff. It really helps your eyeshadow stay on. And I think it's like five or six dollars. And I had been using, what was it? I had been using uh, Urban Decay. Um, and it was very expensive. And this is very cheap. And cheap is good, especially now that we have a new house. Okay. Ah, stuff in my eyes, fun. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put my eyebrows on. I'm, I'm eyebrow challenged because I, I have so much gray growing in anymore. But this is what I've been loving. And if you have another light brown or blonde eye pencil that you think really works, a brow pencil, let me know. This is the Revlon Color Stay in Blonde. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot of gray in there. And I had, I had a viewer tell me to come in closer because you, you supposedly need to like put your pencil here and then go right straight up, which I think she's right. So I'm going to give myself a little more of a brow. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. Quite honestly, I never do. And that's probably why I walk around with gray brows. Give myself a little more of a tail. I've got to figure out something to do with the brows because I, oh, I've got black spots all over my face. Okay, there's that brow. Still looks great, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I definitely need a new, a new brow pencil. And I think I've ordered this one too ahead, so that's not good. Make, make that one a little longer again. Try to cover up those grays. Little tail here. As you can tell, I don't spend a lot of time on brows. And that's probably why they don't look so good. I'm doing that because when I'm looking in the monitor, I can't really tell which eyebrow it is. It's kind of like they're backwards. Okay, that is as good as it gets for working on my house pretty much all day, every day, and trying to kind of rough it. I feel like I'm camping out a lot of the time. And this is my NYX Control Freak. Love it. It's cheap and it works. Although, again, I do not have the most wonderful brows. And something I've also noticed, and sorry I'm being so negative, but my gray is growing in really fast. Um, do you guys know a good root cover? I had one and then it got discontinued, which made me really sad. Okay, let's go into my Tarte Clay Play 2 palette. And I just grab one of these brushes, and I think this is an Angie hot and flashy brush. And I just go in, and I know I probably should not be using this shimmer shadow I just use a little bit of it. I just like it. And I know it makes my, my eyelids look crepey. I know it does. And I really need to go to a mat. But right now, I'm not into trying anything new. I'm, I'm into sort of doing what works. And this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. Then I'm going to go in with this creamy color and just kind of coat the rest of the, the, rest of the eye with that, the creamy color. It's called solstice. I don't know why it's called solstice. I think that has something to do with the sun. Let me know. Summer solstice? Is that, a, is that a thing? I think it is. And I'll get this inside darkness too. I've got a lot of darkness there. Okay, now, and this is the little brush. Again, it's an Angie Hot and Flashy that I use. And I use this brown color here, right here. It's a really natural looking palette. That's why I like it. I'm waiting for the, for the plumber's son to come. The plumber was supposed to be here at 8.15. It's about 8 o'clock now. 
and he said he had to take some other child to school. And so one of his sons is going to come to get started. And I'm really excited because we have had about six weeks of living in this house and one contractor was supposed to be doing a lot of the demo and a lot of the rebuild, like, like in the shower, in the master bath. He was um, ripping out some soffits that made the, the room look really small because they lowered the ceiling. And so he was ripping out soffits and then his drywall was supposed to come in this week. But anyway, to make a long story short, he also like took a wall out between the living room and the dining room. That was nice. Um, he's doing some stuff in the kitchen. He's doing a lot of things, but he was doing them very slowly, quite honestly. It never occurred to me to ask each contractor, how long is it going to take and how often are you going to show up? Because he would tend to, to work for half a day, a day or two a week, and then he wouldn't show up for a week and he wouldn't tell me where he was going. And I don't know, it was quite frustrating. Um, I, I realized why a lot of people use a contractor because I guess, I guess I am the contractor because I'm organizing all these people. And um, we had a bid for somebody who would have been the contractor and I, I guess I didn't realize how nice it is to have a contractor that is over everything. But I'm really excited because supposedly today the plumber comes and sets the plumbing in the shower so that the drywaller can come in and do his thing. The plumber also removes all of the potties and fixtures, faucets on the first floor so that everything can happen so that the tilers can come in. Well, the tiler came in for the last like two or three days and got rid of all the tile on the first floor. And basically, this week we should have a lot of progress because the drywaller is going to come in. Well, the electrician's going to come in and set all the stuff that will be underneath the drywall. Okay, good enough. And then um, the plumber will come and remove all the fixtures. And then supposedly the drywaller is coming tomorrow to create new walls. And we're creating a new, what they call a pony wall in the bathroom. It's a half wall um, between the the new tub area, we had a big, one of those big tubs. It was almond, because I would have kept it, because I don't mind a big tub. But it was one of those big sunken type tubs, whirlpool type tubs. But this will be one of those new ones, which I'm sure is a fad, <laughs> but it will take less space visually. It's one of those freestanding tubs, and it will take less visual space in my master bath, and the master bath is quite small. So I think that'll be good. But anyway, so we'll have the half wall and then, you know, the tub will be here, half wall, and then there'll be a glass shower wall, and then the front of the shower will be glass. It should be really nice. Yeah, it has been quite the experience going through this. Okay, now, I actually bought two more of these. I love this, and, well, I'm gonna use it anyway, it's a stub. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Classic Powder Pencil, which is, I, I think, a really good way to do a soft, line. And you guys, this is my daily makeup. This is not something, well, it is what I wear when I go out at night. I mean, I have to admit, it is. Because anymore, I'm hardly doing makeup. You know, I'm going to get one of the new ones that I bought. And where is it? Oh, here it is. Let's hope it has a, a tip on it. And yes, it does. It has a sharp little tip. I'm so happy. I should have started with that one. Pardon me while I get this done. Yeah, much better. This one is not looking as good. Got to get that little tail off of there. Okay, you guys, it's good enough. <laughs> this is the daily makeup. Then I use this wonderful L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in my waterline. See, I've got tan in there. Tan because that's my real skin. And I just do this and it makes my eye shadow look or my eye mascara, my mascara look thicker. Okay, now we're going to go in and I'm going to use my favorite mascara, which has been my favorite mascara for a long, 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 long time. Although I've tried many, many, many 
And this is the Stila Extreme Smoldering Lash. I think it is. Extreme Lash, Extreme, Stila Extreme, Huge Lash. <laughs> That's it. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. It curls better, makes them look better. I don't think this makeup is too bad, considering I'm in the middle of a house that is kind of a construction zone. Not even kind of. It's kind of like a nuclear warhead hit it. And for the first five or six weeks, Alan accused me of being negative. Not for the whole time, but some of the times. And I would be. I was afraid. Because there's nothing like taking what is basically a, a very nice home, but out of date, and then ripping the guts out of it, and then having contractors that sort of like show up when they want to. And it was scary. It was scary to me. And Alan has such faith in God, in the world, and other human beings. He's like, Beth, it will get done. It will. Just calm down. And he's exactly right. That's why I love having Allie in my life. And you know what's funny? People ask me if I miss the last house. And here's a picture of the last house. And, and believe me, I lived there 13 years and everything was pretty updated and everything was done and it was very easy to live in that house. But they asked, do I miss that house? You know, because it was my home for so long. And the answer I realized, okay, this, this, see, I'm skimpy on that side. Look at those lashes. They're much better. I don't know. I think I need a new mascara is what I need. This one's old. But anyway, they asked me if I miss that house. And I do not at all. It does not feel like home to me. And I wondered why after living there for 13 years. I mean, we had a lot of really good, you know, every two weeks we had a family dinner there. Actually, it used to be every week. But the kids wanted to see us less, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, um, it was home. But I realized, I thought, no, this feels like home. Why does this feel like home? And we've only been here five or six weeks, and we're living in a total wrecked out mess. Why does this feel like home? And this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation. And I love this. It has a little bit of an SPF. But I think it does look just like healthy skin, and I'm about out of it. I'm about out of a lot of these. I need to get some new. But anyway, I realized that, and this, this sounds corny, I know, but it is so true. I realized that home is where Alan is. Allie is what I call him. Allie. He doesn't like that very well. But he allows me to call him Allie. I asked him when we first got together 42 years ago, actually 43 years ago, if I could call him Al, and he's like, no, you cannot. So I'm glad he's not an Al, but I just call him Allie. But anyway, I realized that home is where Allie is, and there is no one that I would rather do this with than him. Well, we seem to be destined. Oh, I got makeup up in my hair. Ooh, yuck. That's gross. We seem to be destined to work on houses as part of like our contract in life or something. Um, and I do believe that before we come onto this earth, that we have kind of a soul contract, you know, kind of roughly who we're kind of supposed to be with and what we're supposed to accomplish. And Alan and I, we got our first house, which was what we could afford, which was about nothing. It was a $32,000 house. We both made minimum wage when we got married. And a month before we got married, we actually moved into our first house and totally remodeled it in a month to have our wedding reception there. This was my second marriage, so we were paying for our own wedding and, and reception. So it was a lot more downscaled affair than the, the first marriage. I was 25 years old when I married Allie. And my first marriage was brief with a high school sweetheart. Um, I diverged. But we did move into that house a month before we got married. And we had, had fixed it all up and had our wedding reception there. And then that house wasn't in a very nice neighborhood, as you can imagine, being $32,000. And so then we sold it to a friend who liked what we'd done to the house. And then we moved into another house and fixed it up and sold it a year later. And pretty much about every three years thereafter, we would buy a house in a good neighborhood, but that needed work. We realized good neighborhood was important. i got to find this. Okay, here it is. This is another Angie brush. And so... In all those years, we bought and sold, flipped our own houses, really, uh, 13 houses. And then the last one, which was the one that you saw, our former house that we just moved out of, we lived in for 13 years, which was amazing for us. But we realized that we have a talent for fixing up houses. 
and that, you know, I always felt like if we didn't buy rentals by the end of our life and help other people to live in beautiful homes, that is kind of one of our goals when we have our rental houses is to give people nicer places, places that we wouldn't mind living in that are up to date and, and nice. Um, so anyway, that's what we did about 13 years ago, actually about 15, we started buying some rental houses. And so that kind of took care of our need. This is, what is this? This is a good powder. This is It, Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder with an SPF of 50. And I just take this big BK Beauty brush. I wonder if that's the plumber coming. Sometimes the, the phone dings when somebody's at the door because we have that ring thing. I, I don't know if that was ring. But anyway, so I just kind of get the shine off and set and set the, um, set this, what is this called? This is called Lancome Tint Ideal Ultra Wear Concealer, which I did under, around, and on. <laughs> so there's that. Then I have really been loving this, and as you can tell, I've really used it down. This is the Bare Minerals, I can't see, Bare Minerals something, pink blush in the color Pink Glow, and there it is. And as you can tell, I've used the heck out of it. And this is not a BK Beauty brush. This is a, this is a Sephora brush. And what is it called? I love this thing. It says, says Sephora Pro Precision Blush Brush 73. I don't know. I'll try to link it below. But I love this thing because it's a flat blush brush. And I've never found a blush brush that I like better because mostly they're big wide heads and they kind of splush the blush all over your face. And this one is precision, like the name implies. And I've had this for years, and I've never found a better one, like I mentioned. I just love it. It's really able, able <laughs> to get your cheekbones looking real, real good. And again, keep the blush on top of your cheekbones, not underneath. You know, I have not been wearing <laughs> I have not been wearing any, any concealer, not concealer. This is bronzer, Film Star Bronze, Bronze and Glow, Film Star Bronze and Glow. I love this, but quite honestly, I've not been worried about cheekbones. I've just been worried about basic makeup, but I'm going to go ahead and go in with what I use for my bronzer. That looks shaky. Here we go. Okay, I bet that's my plumber. I may have to run and come back. Oh no, I'm missing my brush. Oh, hold on. I'm missing the brush that I used to smooth that out. Let's see if it's here. Aha, it's here on the other side of this little thing. Okay, here it is. I love this. This is a Real Techniques brush. It says Real Techniques Sculpting brush? Sculpting brush. I'll, I'll bring some of that down here. Forgot to put it on my nose. Here. Sometimes I don't put it up there because most of the time I don't. Because it ends up looking like I'm wearing chocolate bars up there. Okay, now I need some lipstick. And the only one I have in here is this color. And this is Twig. Twig. It's a matte color, Twig. Here we go. And let's see if I happen to have a lip pencil in here. I'm not sure that I do. Oh, well, I've, no, I don't have one. Well, I've got one and it's spice and that will work. Boy, I look really greasy in this little mirror. I hope I'm not looking that greasy. I look really greasy. My purse is over there. Let me go get my absolute favorite powder. Oops, uh, that is ring and that is my plumber. I'll be right back. Okay, that was the plumber. Actually, it was the plumber's son and another plumber. And something about these young professionals look so freaking young. It's like, you know, the plumber can be here this morning. He's doing something, he'll be here soon. But his son is here and his son looks like he's like 17 years old. 
What is it? You go into a doctor and you feel like your son or daughter is working on you. I mean, it's really weird. <laughs> okay, so I have my wonderful powder and this is like my magic powder. And this is my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder. And I like this one really well. And look at all the, look at all the shine I have. I have a lot of shine. And when you have a lot of shine, it emphasizes wrinkles. And, you know, I definitely have them because I'm 60. Well, I'm not even to tell you. I'm, I'm older. <laughs> See, look what it does. It just nulls it out. Got a lot of big pores on my forehead. But it makes it look like I don't have any. And then I have a lot of wrinkles here. <laughs> and that kind of smooths them out. They'll always be there. But that's okay. It doesn't really bother me. Now I think I've done my blush in. Now I think I want a little bit more blush on there. Sometimes that happens. Okay. And in my thought for the day, I'll give you my flow of consciousness of where I am right now. Because this is a weird, weird, weird experience. I don't think I realized how difficult it would really be. Because I haven't done it in 13 years. We've lived in the same house for 13 years. Okay. So... I think that's it. I don't think I want any gloss. I think that's just fine. Let me come back in a minute because I'm going to do my thumbnail. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> thumbnail done. Oh, and, and I only have one ring on today, not this one, because Alan and I, I found a gift card in my purse for Jose Peppers. And you know, we're vegan now. And Al, I had to do a lot of convincing to convince Alan to go. So we go there. And unfortunately, I was starving to death. And one thing about doing a house is that you always feel like you're camping out. You're working really hard. It's driving you crazy. And so food, to me, seems like a big reward. So anyway, I was all prepared to go and have a big reward. And that consisted of two baskets full of chips, guacamole, ordered guacamole. Then we ordered a bean and cheese burrito with rice and beans on the side and as a consequence, I have too much salt from all those chips and I can't wear my ring. I can wear it. I was just afraid I wouldn't get it off. So anyway, that is the state of my life right now. So getting back to the, the matter at hand, here's my makeup. Um, and I'm so happy you were here with me because I've got to get back in the habit of my channel and talking to you guys. And you know, oh, it feels comforting. It really does. It feels comforting. Do you feel comforted seeing me? I hope you do. I want you to. Anyway, because I feel comforted seeing all of you out there. Kind of like when I was a kid. I don't know if you had Romper Room, but my parents even knew Miss Fran, who was the Romper Room teacher. And she would look through this mirror and she would say, Romper, Bumper, Stomper, Boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Did all my friends have fun at play? Who do I see out there today? And even though she knew my parents, I always waited for her to say, Beth. And she never ever saw me, which is really weird. So anyway, I see you guys and I hope you see me. And thought for the day. I guess the thought for the day is something that I really need personally a lot. And that is to kind of pray continually. And by pray continually, I mean, I'm talking specifically about my house right now that when I look around, instead of seeing everything in disarray and what isn't done or how far we have to go, I have to pray continually. And I believe praying is thanking God for the final outcome. You know, don't say, oh, I'm really, really sick and I hope to get well soon. Say, I have robust, good health. I'm super healthy. And so that's what I'm trying to do with this house. I'm trying to go, oh, this kitchen is just beautiful. I love the new white cabinets. I love the new hardware. I love all of the new potties. I love everything. Everything's done. And I'm really enjoying this beautiful new home. I am trying to look at the positive of things. Alan is right. We had a little fight earlier in the month, a couple weeks ago, where he said, Beth, you're being too negative, very negative. I didn't talk to him for the rest of the day. I think I mentioned that in another video. But then I ended up apologizing. But I did make him apologize to me, too. So anyway, I guess my thought for the day is, first, let me know if you have any challenges going on in your life or any areas in which you need to think more positively. And second, I don't know if there is a second. I guess second is, as, as we both go through our day-to-day, -day, 
If we find ourselves going negative and looking at something that's less than desirable, let's try to turn it around and thank God for what we do have. I have this great new house and this too shall pass. I will get through this. Try to find a way to kind of skew your thoughts over to the positive and to skew your words over to the positive as well because it doesn't do us any good to be negative, you or me, mostly I'm talking to me, it does us a lot of good to try to thank God and or the universe, depending upon your belief, for all the beautiful things and blessings that we have in our life. Take care and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.